going on guys? I hope everyone's having a great day. I got a collection update video for you guys today and as well as I'm planning on doing a discussion and review for Matt Reeves' The Batman because I did see The Batman a few days ago. So I would like to get my thoughts out probably tonight. But right now I've got a collection update video for you guys today. I've got some movies and a video game. So got my drink. We're taking a look here at uh, Okanzi Memphis Pale Ale. It's uh, some sort of IPA. So let's go ahead and take a sip. Hmm. All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and start with the movies first. Let me take another sip. It is a little hoppy, not gonna lie. But uh, we've got Batman Year One. Now this is just the way it came, but I, I I have wanted to see this one. I have not seen it, but I am glad to finally own it because now I get to see it. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to check that one out. Got Batman The Long Halloween Part 1, as well as Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. Now, it's weird, because this one's got a PG-13 rating, and this one has an R rating. And I'm assuming this is based on a comic that I have not read. But uh, the plot seems very intriguing. I am really curious to check both these out. And if this is if they are based on a comic, I will have to seek out the comic. Now, this is one that, this is based on a comic that I have read, The Death of Superman. I just haven't seen the actual film. So, I am looking really forward to checking this this uh, movie out, because I have read the, com the comic book on several different occasions, and it is one of my favorite Superman comics. So, I am really curious to check out the film. All right, next we've got the collector's edition of Lance Hendrickson Pumpkinhead, which is a horror film. Not entirely, I've not really heard anything about it. It was like a dollar, and the Pumpkinhead villain looked really intriguing. So I guess it's going to be one of these films that I'm going into blind, don't know anything about other than I know who the director is. But uh, I may have to do this for Movie Night with Zach because I am picking that series back up soon. I'm still kind of getting back in the swing of stuff. So, yeah, Pumpkinhead. All right. So now we've got Requiem for a Dream with uh, Jared Leto and Jennifer Connelly in it. I actually really like this movie. I do like Darren Aronofsky as a director. He's not the best director, but he is one that I like pretty well. And Requiem for a Dream is a really good movie. I have seen a few times. It's a very, 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 very good film. A very good film, rather. But, uh, yeah, that's Requiem for a Dream. And we got a movie that's really... I'm finally glad this is a movie I've always wanted to own. But, I don't know, I just, for whatever reason, never got around to getting it. But I saw it for a dollar in the dollar bin. And I actually don't understand why this movie was in the dollar bin because this is such a great movie. The Transformers, the movie from the 80s. I believe this is from the 80s. Or it's based on the series from the 80s. I can't remember if this thing actually came out in the 80s. But Leonard Nimoy as Optimus Prime was something that I'm glad that they put into the Michael Bay Transformers movies. I have my opinions on those movies. I love the first Michael Bay Transformers. All of them afterwards are not that great but this movie is great and it is an animated movie but this is really a great movie it's an awesome awesome movie based on an awesome series so glad to finally have this in my collection all right last but not least for this short little collection update video we've got a game that i loved playing when i was a kid it's mercenaries and basically, the objective here, the entire, it's just like the entire of, entirety of the map is 
it's 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 pretty much your playground it's why it's called mercenaries playground of destruction you basically use your environment you when you you get cash and just basically find new and innovative ways to obliterate your enemies and this game was just worlds of fun growing up uh, it's crazy it's bombastic but it's an awesome awesome game and it's still a game that holds up to this day and i i actually did own the sequel i just needed the first one uh the sequel wasn't as good as this one but this one is definitely an underrated classic but uh yeah that wasn't really wasn't really a big collection update but it is something it is a little something so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know this video is short but if you did make sure to hit that like and subscribe button thank you guys for watching and i'm out peace